I just moved into the city and I wanted to be more involved. I was looking for a way to get involved in the community. But not to the point where I wanted to run for an office of any type. A friend of mine was serving on the Park and Rec Commission, so I asked her about it. You live there, you're invested in the place, and if you're going to be there any length of time, it's, uh, I think it's important to have a say in how things go. The city of Crystal is always looking for interested residents to serve on one of its many boards or commissions. Each one serves a specific role, some current commissioners explain what they do and why the work they do is important. We go through a list of topics that are relevant to the park system. You know, what park has an upcoming uh, renovation or what things need to be done in another park to make them more safe. The biggest objective is to make sure that our parks have good upkeep and that we are providing a good service to the, to the residents in the city. It's really enjoyable to be able to hear that and to be able to respond to some of their concerns. The Planning Commission has a different focus. There's always construction, there's always remodeling, um, repurposing of old buildings. The Planning Commission wasn't directly involved in Becker Park at all, it's a parks issue, but the surrounding area we made significant zoning changes to. What kind of uh, residences or businesses do you want to go in there? We will look at those sorts of things to figure out what kind of, what we want the city to look like. But what about the time commitment? The time commitment is a very doable. The hearings tend to last maybe an hour, sometimes longer if there's a contentious issue or something complex. If we uh, meet in a park where we invite the residents out to voice their concerns, those last about 45 minutes themselves, plus the hour and a half that we do for our meeting. Uh, one thing that, that, is, that I like is that they're in the evening, so they accommodate people who work during the day. So they're fairly easy to make. Applying is simple and can be done online. I was able to get online, get an application. They ask why you're interested in serving on the particular commission you're applying to, um, a little bit about your background, what volunteer work you've been in previously. And within a week, I was called for an interview and I met with city council and uh, the mayor of, of the city of Crystal. It's just a casual conversation about you know what you're interested in and what you hope to accomplish. Serving on a board or commission is a great way to give back to your community, and it's rewarding. It's a good way to, to stay involved and, and to be connected within your community. I think it's a good way to um, get to know your community better. You get to learn about the, uh, the workings of the city. It's a lot of fun. The people are great. I've always felt welcome, and I've always had a lot of fun when I come out with these folks. You find it fascinating, and it's also good to have a voice. You really become a conduit for change, I think, when you serve on a commission like this. The city is currently looking for residents to serve on the Parks and Recreation and Environmental Quality Commissions. For more information, visit crystalmn.gov and search for boards and commissions. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.